What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Blake Gambino, and I'm back here with another video. And as you guys can tell, I ain't uploaded in some months, y'all. I know y'all probably mad at me, especially my gun heads, as you can tell by the title. You already know what the video is going to be about, but. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I finally made it to the 500 mark. I, I believe, actually, right now, I got 555 subscribers. So I'm thankful for, uh, for that. But we're on the road to 1,000. Like I said, I know I haven't been posting a lot. I'm going to try my best to be more consistent. It's just recording shit on my phone. It's just, it takes time to edit, et cetera. And just, just been busy with life, school, the regular, regular. But as you guys can see by that motherfucking thumbnail and that title... We got a special gun unboxing today. Technically, it's not unboxing. I just literally just got it yesterday and uh, I loaded the mags or whatnot. But it's an unboxing for you guys. So if you're wondering what I got, if your slow ass didn't read the YouTube title, excuse me, the video title, or if you just never heard of this before. Oh, we. If you don't know what that emblem or symbol is, you're not even in, these, in this gun world like you should be. But let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. My bad guys on the line. I got my window, uh, got my blinds up to get some natural light. But as you can see, we got that bad boy. We got that FN57. I wanted one of these for so long. And for you goddamn gun maniacs and gun critics on the internet. Hey man, check to see if it's loaded. You have the safety off. No shit, Sherlock. I, I know I have the safety off. There's nothing in here, asshole. And I don't gotta prove shit to you, by the way. But if you must, no, no, there's nothing in there. Just but the slide release on this thing is just sounds so sexy. Just listen. Hold on. Just listen. Uh, to be all the way honest, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not too knowledgeable about the 5.7. Like, I've watched countless videos on it over the years and whatnot. But uh, I've actually, I've never shot a 5.7 before. I got a couple buddies who got the Ruger 5.7. They say they love it. But uh, me personally, I've never shot the, uh, the round before. But, you know, I'm adding just, I just bought it basically to add to my collection. Just, you know, for bragging rights, you know. Because a lot of people got the Ruger 5.7. People are like, ah, oh, ain't the FM 5.7. You know, not to knock Ruger, though, you know, uh, I almost contemplated getting the Ruger 5.7. It's just the reviews I looked on it. People hated the trigger. And uh, sometimes they said the slide rest. And I was like, I'm not going to pay that amount of money for a gun. And the uh, slide's going to rust. But if you're wondering what kind of ammo I got in here, I got the classic, uh, what's this called? The 5, um, of course, it's 5.7 seven by 28 millimeter. But it's the SS197 SR sporting cartridge. It's this, uh, the blue tip one, standard blue tip. You can see, you got the standard blue tips. But uh, the research I've done on this gun so far, uh, basically, I don't know. I used to always hear this was like a, a 22 on steroids. And if you look at the rounds, like they're not too much bigger than like a 22 Magnum, but the shape of them, it kind of looks like, mm -hmm, like. The 5.7 round, it's a weird round. It's small, but it kind of reminds me of like a small 5.56 round or a small 2.23 round, if we're being honest. But um, yeah, I've been been looking at one of these for years. And another, the, the thing that initially turned me off not to get a, a FN 5.7 some years ago, the first time I ever held this, I didn't know this shit was all polymer. Like this shit's basically, it's basically all, majority of it's polymer. And when I just held it, it felt cheap. I'm like, what the fuck? Like this is a, such an like a thousand dollar gun. And it's polymer, but, you know, doing a little more research last night, I actually learned it's the slide is still is still in case. So on the inside, it's still on the outside, it's polymer. But uh, it's real light. I think it's, I don't even think it's a, a pound um, unloaded. Loaded, I think it's a little over a pound. But, um, yeah, I called, called around for some shops the other day. Didn't know shops have any black ones. Uh, the only shop that had a black one was, like, close to an hour out of town. I was like, I'm not about to drive a fucking hour out of town. And actually, I found this for an amazing price. It was brand new. They had a used one, but it was only like a, I think like a $90 difference. I was like, shit. I was like, something like this. I was like, there's no point in buying it. Buying it uh, used 
just for a ninety dollar difference. But um, yeah, I look forward to shooting this sometime in the future. I didn't. Another thing to get into. I didn't know ammo for this shit was so goddamn high. This fifty round box. If you can see it. Sorry about the lighting again. This fucking fifty round box was fifty three ninety nine. Can you fucking believe that fifty three? You know? Yeah, don't point the gun at the camera. Shut up, bitch. It's not loaded. And anyway, I can't shoot your ass through YouTube. But anyway, like I was saying, uh, before you imaginary motherfuckers interrupted me, this this is something you just shoot on a special occasion. Like maybe like if you got some buddies at the range, they got extra ammo, or maybe on like New Year's or. Just like, you know, a special occasion you shoot this because like I'm literally $53 in tax. Really, this shit was like 54 and some change. I'm I'm shooting a dollar. Every bullet I shoot is like a dollar. I'm bad at math. A dollar, some change. That's all I know. So I'm not about to be out here wasting, you know, um, money on ammo just to have some fun with this. But uh, it was great in my hand. I got big bulky hands and the grip. It's my hand perfectly. I got to get used to this safety. Like, it's just, it's just weird having it, um, having it right there. But, you know, you can rack the slide back. There's no, there's no magazine in here. Uh, just to let you guys know for the millionth time, you can rack the slide super easily. Like, like, that's all you have to do to turn your chamber around. It's like, I was practicing last night, you know, with plastic caps. But, uh, literally, you have a round chamber. But, um. Yeah, I really uh I like the gun so far, even though I haven't shot it. But I'm really looking into um you know getting out to the range sometime soon and maybe I can get some footage for you guys. Well yeah, this is a pretty good looking gun in my opinion. Some people hate it, say it's a fucking Robocop type <laughs> plastic gun. You know, you can't please everybody, but to each his own. I, I like it. Like like I said, I got big hands, as you can see. Just right in my hand, real good. Real good. Uh, like I said, I gotta get used to this trigger again. But, you know, I decided to treat myself and, you know, add one of these, you know, high powered handguns to my collection. But, um, yeah, you guys who already own the 5.7, can you guys, like, you know, give me some advice about bullets and stuff like that? Because, you know, I have the standard blue tips, you know, the sporting round, but everybody was saying online basically the green tip ammo, the FN ammo they said even though um it's lighter it's more I, i'm not saying it's armor piercing i don't think you know the five seven can pierce armor out of the fn but um i don't know tell me what you think about the blue tips versus the um the green tips and any other uh five seven ammo made by fn but like i said appreciate you guys for tuning in appreciate the 500 subs until next time guys if you have anything you want to say or comment about this gun Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys later. Peace.